Hello again everybody, hope you're all doing good. So, clutch contra springs, also sometimes known as torque springs. What are they, what do they do, and under what circumstances would you consider changing one? So, as far as what they are, they are springs, just like this one here, which sit in between the rear um, belt pulley and the clutch at the back of the scooter. So they're normally in this position down here, just in front of the wheel there, uh, between between this and the actual wheel drive shaft itself, there is actually some gears as well. But this sits at the back, is driven by the belt, and the spring, you can actually see the spring in there, sits in between these two things. And it has two main purposes, jobs. The first is to keep tension on the belt. So if the spring is too soft, the dry faces won't push together properly and you will get belt slip, uh, which obviously you don't want. The second job they have is to basically uh, aid in returning the belt to its lower gearing. So basically, your roller weights in your variator dictate at what rate the gear ratio changes up as in the rate at which the belt at the front gets bigger and gets smaller at the back the spring at the back does the opposite it dictates the rate that the scooter shifts down into a lower gear when you let off the accelerator so when you let off the accelerator this spring is going to push these plates back together which is going to return the belt to its higher point on the rear pulley and its lower point on the front pulley giving you that lower gear for pulling away again um, so effectively if your spring is too soft you're going to suffer from two possible issues the first issue is going to be that your um, belt might slip therefore you will not be getting power onto the road the second problem is going to be you're going to notice that when you let off the accelerator it's a bit slow to shift down into a lower ratio so when you go to pull away again there might be a bit of a delay uh, particularly this will be noticeable going up hills as soon as you get to a hill where the engine revs start to drop if the spring is too soft then what's going to happen is it's going to remain in a higher gear for longer you're going to lose more momentum and it's going to be slower pulling up the hill so under what circumstances would you actually need to change this because a lot of times the stock spring is actually more than adequate for most situations but there are certain situations where you will want to go to a slightly stiffer spring most of the time it's going to be if you've modified the scooter beyond a certain point uh, and what i mean by that is if you have just put a sports exhaust on or something then nine times out of ten you can adjust your roller weights and get away with keeping the stock spring it's actually going to do just fine it's only really once you start getting to a point where you've tuned the engine you've got a big bore kit you've got a you know a tuning carburetor you've tuned it all up and it's producing significantly more power so the stock spring will will easily deal with more the power than the stock but once you get to a certain point and you're producing just a little bit too much power then the power of the engine will start to overcome the springs tension and it will effectively be too soft for that setup so under that situation you will want to go to a stiffer spring which brings me on to the next point a lot of people make the mistake when they're tuning these transmissions they get a contra spring which is as stiff as possible these things usually come in uh, different like uh, strengths uh, usually they on the websites they will give you like a percentage like or sometimes an rpm so it might be like yeah. a i don't know a 2000 rpm spring or something or it might be uh, plus 10 percent plus 20 percent usually the red springs from memory are the stiffest and that's what people usually go for but most of the time that is way overkill and uh, what will actually happen if the spring is too stiff firstly you're going to get excessive belt wear uh, because it's pushing on the belt a bit too hard uh, but also if the spring's too stiff what's going to happen is because effectively you know your roller weights at the front when you're accelerating they are pushing the belt uh, outwards and pulling it in at the back and that's fighting against this spring so as i've mentioned before you need this spring to have a certain amount of tension in order to stop the belt from slipping and to make sure that it goes down the gear again 
when you let off the accelerator but if it's too stiff then what will happen is the roller weights at the front might not necessarily be able to push the belt the whole way and you might actually lose top end um, so that's basically not what you want nine times out of ten you only want to go for like the next spring up so if you've got a stock spring you probably only want to go to 10 like a plus 10 percent or something depending on your setup but that's effectively what you're looking for is you want a spring that's just stiff enough to keep tension on the belt and to give you good deceleration without being so stiff that it can't shift into its highest possible uh, gear you are going to have to change roller weights more than likely when you change the spring so what you want to do is get the spring right first get that where you want it to be and then adjust the roller weights to adjust your rate of acceleration and whatever else to get the engine into its optimal rpm where it's got the best torque um, whilst it's variating uh, if you want to know about uh, selecting the right roller weights and things like that i have already done a video on this as well so that's basically it um, as i say for most applications if you've just got a sports exhaust maybe a big bore kit but you haven't changed the carb you've just rejetted and whatever the stock spring will usually do the job it's only once you start going further than that and actually pushing like considerably more power out of the out of the motor that you may find you need to uh change these um I think I mentioned that the uh, softer spring will also give you uh, problems with initial acceleration because if it's too soft, it will shift into a higher gear too quickly. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what this is and what it does. Uh, hopefully this video was useful to some of you guys. If it was, do give it a like. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. Go check out my other videos. And for now, I'll catch you again soon.